and welcome to another postpartum update. Little Eva Eva is now four months and she loves to look at plants, as you can see, instead of looking at the camera. Now that Eva's four months, she is rolling over from her back onto her front. And when she is on her front, she's managing to hold her head up for really, really long periods of time. When she's on her front, she also tries to crawl, but she is not having much luck at that at the moment. She continues to smile and giggle and coo all the time. She's without a doubt the happiest baby that I have ever met. Hello baby, hello baby. <laughs> I don't know why she is the happiest baby that I've ever met, the only thing that I can think of is maybe co-sleeping. I started co-sleeping with her when she was a week old. Whereas with my other daughter, I didn't start co-sleeping with her until she was six months old because I was just so petrified of crushing her. But with Eva, for the first week, we had her in her crib and she just screamed and I thought, you know what, just come in the bed. Like, I'm too tired to be getting up every five minutes. Come in the bed, come play with me. And ever since she has moved into the bed, she has just been so, so happy. Just such a happy child. I think she is teething now because she is drooling, like she drools a lot. She constantly wants something in her mouth. So I found that the dummy actually helps. It stops her from drooling and she does seem a bit happier. She got her four month vaccinations just recently. And after those, she had a temperature for two days. We've all been pretty ill recently. So I don't know if maybe the temperature was because she was ill as well or if it was because of her vaccinations, but but yeah, she did have a temperature for two days. And as I'm touching her head now, she feels a little bit hot as well. So I really hope she's not getting ill. She wants to stand up all the time. I remember the pediatrician telling me not to let them do that because their backs aren't strong enough for it. But it's hard because, you know, she's constantly pushing to try and stand up. It's hard to stop her from doing it all the time. Her colic has finally cleared up. Thank you, Lord. She would just scream and scream and scream all the time because she was in so much pain. But now it does seem like she's finally not got colic anymore. Her digestive system is finally working. And we can finally say goodbye to colic. Thank goodness. She's still exclusively breastfed. I've not even had to pump and leave milk in a bottle for her because with her, I've been lucky enough to just never, ever, ever have to leave her. Regarding me and my body and my body's postpartum recovery, I have still not managed to shift the baby weight. I'm, well, I've, I've managed to lose one kilo because I was 48 for ages after I gave birth and I managed to get down to 47 kilos, but I still am not down to my pre-pregnancy weight, which was 45 kilos. I've still got another two kilos to go. It's hard to diet when I don't have any other vices. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do anything. So it's kind of the only thing that I've got. <laughs> so even though I would really like to get down to the pre-pregnancy weight and be 45 kilos again, at the same time, I'm like, well, I'm not really willing to give up the chocolate and the ice cream just yet. I have had mammitis about three times now in the past month. With mammitis, you basically you just get a really high temperature, you get freezing cold, then you get the sweats, you get aching bones, you just like you can't move, you're just dead and your and your breast hurts a lot. The only way to cure it, according to the doctors, is antibiotics. But I have not been taking the antibiotics because, I don't know, I just wanted to get over it without the antibiotics and I did get over it by just feeding on that breast constantly to get the milk out and to empty it and it has worked. That's about it for my four month update and for this little baby's four month update. Please let me know if you're enjoying these updates. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you want me to do more. As always, thank you so much for watching 
and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!